The number one objective with Alzheimer's is to alter the course of your illness. That makes it incredibly important for physicians to make a diagnosis as early as possible and then begin treating aggressively. This makes a world of difference, slowing the progression of the disease. We're working very hard to change the trajectory of aging of the brain, which results in Alzheimer's disease. The focal point is medication. Several medications were developed to increase the level of acetylcholine in the brain because there is a deficit of that neurotransmitter in the, in the Alzheimer's brain. Acetylcholine turns on different parts of the brain and helps make key connections. Without it, parts of the brain begin to shut down. With it, they begin to light up again. There are currently three medications that are uh, available to increase the level of acetylcholine, and they go by the common name of Aricept, Exelon, and Razodyne, and they can be prescribed by any physician. Medication can help with many of the other associated problems of Alzheimer's disease. These medications uh, help with cognition, such as memory, for example, but they also help with behaviors that are associated with Alzheimer's disease, for example, depression and uh, getting paranoid. For moderate to severe disease, there is a new medication. It is believed that Namenda works by reducing excitotoxicity in the brain, that is to say, uh, the brain sending too many excitatory signals which then cause toxicity. The biggest problem with treating Alzheimer's disease is pessimism. There are some people that believe that since these medications don't stop the disease, uh, treatment is not important, but I believe it is important because you want to function as well as possible for as long as possible, especially since new medications are on the horizon that may have an even bigger impact on treatment.